All right, well, we're not soft locked at least. <sighs> Guess we'll go do the other elevators. That's what we'll do. Bit of a way down. Good sip break, for sure. Wow, what a game, huh? What a video game. My goodness gracious. It'll probably be a long, long time before we ever play a game this old on the channel again. Most likely. Because, you know, we don't usually do a whole lot of retro stuff around here. But Metal Gear wound up being the exception. Another ration? Hey! I actually wasn't expecting there would be another one, but I was like, I'll check it anyway. Well, I'll do. I don't know what that sound is. Is that just part of the soundtrack? I guess it's part of the soundtrack then. This is what it must be. Yeah, it is definitely a bit of a slapper of a theme. I do have to say. Yeah, it's just part of the soundtrack. Alright, punch that button. We're going. Alright, we'll do these other elevators. We'll unlock grenades because apparently that's a thing around somewhere. I mean, which way do we want to go? We can try down first. I don't know. So B1. So this would be a different area on B1, right? All right, so we're down here. Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh no! No! Oh, crap! I swear, if it puts me in front of Grenade McGee again, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay. Okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> so... Maybe I shouldn't have even gotten in the water at all. Maybe not. Wait. Oh, this is not good, is it? Uh. Where am I going? What am I doing? Wait, is this that one area that I couldn't get into before? Because I didn't have the right card? Um, yeah, it's that one door by the elevators, isn't it? I don't know how to get all the way back again, though. Let's see here. The water in the ditch is freezing. It'll catch you cold if you stay in too long. <coughs> yeah, because I can't go out through there. So where the heck did I put myself? Um, kid, I heard this ditch is connected to the next building by a jet stream. Um, alright. <laughs> I guess we're going back in the water? I probably shouldn't have gotten into the water in the first place, huh? I probably shouldn't have done that. Alright, this away we go. <sighs> what a time this has become, huh? What a time. We oh. Alright, so do that. I don't know, and loop around this way? Well, I can't get that other one now. Oh no! I mean, I could have used a ration and survived. But, uh, I was thinking- I was thinking about saving and reloading the save anyway to be at the last checkpoint because I still feel like I probably shouldn't have gotten into the water in the first place. I should probably stick over here. I'll just keep using the D-pad. Alright, yeah, we'll find out what's around here. Hey, ammo! Ammo! Cool! you love to see it. Are you friends with the blonde lady, mister? I guess so. Um, plastic explosives, plastic explosives. Cool, that just happened to be around in these rooms. I love to see it. Um, hmm. There's some rations over there. Um, there's a room over there. The one-eyed man told us to tell him if we saw a man wearing green clothes, the blonde lady says he isn't here. But there's a room over there. Is this gonna be like... One of those Metal Gear situations where it's like... Because it just gave me plastic explosives not that long ago, so like... How do you detonate them? 
It's not just pressing attack again. I know because it places another one. Wait, what did it say here? Um, can be detonated off screen if within radar range. Like, wait, wait, what? But how do I do it though? How do I do it though? Not like that, I guess. Metal Gear 2 Snake's Revenge. How to detonate plastic explosives. Imagine she walks in front of it and it's just kaboom. Whoops, I wrote Metal Gear 2 Snake's Revenge. Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. <sighs> plastic explosives. Um, base location be set. Ready C4. Press R1 to be set. After setting, press R1 at any time to detonate. No? What? Maybe this is for a different game. Plastic Explosive Metal Gear Wiki. Let's see here. No, it just shows uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Well. Well. I don't know how to blow it up! Um. I don't actually know how to blow it. Does it just blow up the whole room? Is that what's going on here? Does it just detonate the whole room? I guess it's the B button. I was just like, well, I can't find the answer online, so I'll just try every button until I find the one that works. It didn't seem like it revealed anything. But, you know, there's still a room over there. I actually wonder what the heck is going on there. I mean, I could also potentially just get into it from another door. Potentially. Oh, yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? Gosh dang it. Oh, but there's a room over there. What is this sound? So, whoops. So, like... It is one of those situations! Hi! <coughs> Thanks, Snake. You saved me. Well, I guess it went past Snake's dialogue. I think his dialogue was just nothing, though. What's wrong? I didn't think you'd be this pretty. <laughs> what? You thought I'd be ugly? I should have met, met up with you sooner. Snake, about Dr. Marv. I'm pretty sure he's okay. Pretty sure. I thought you said you made contact. I, how many times do I have to press A? Well, I haven't actually met him. He's under armed guard somewhere, but he sent a message by Carrier Pigeon. It might be some kind of clue. Pigeon. Where is it now? I found it, but it flew away just as I was about to catch it. I saw it heading up the elevator in the tower building. The, a pigeon went up an elevator? Toward the roof? Bad guys are looking for it, too. I have to find it before they do. It's our only clue to Dr. Marv's whereabouts. A pigeon hunt. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'd only get in your way. I want to gather a little more info. I'm starting to like this place less and less. And then this happens. If this keeps up, I'm really gonna let him have it. I see you still got spirit. Just don't do anything crazy. Still got spirit? This implies that like they've known each other for a while, but I, I guess they just never met properly before. I mean, might be listening in, so let's change our frequency to 1476, okay, Snake? Oh, I made a copy of my IC card. It's card four. Here, take it. See you later, Snake. Take care of yourself. All right, so we have card four. Look at that wacky hobble there. All right, I can close down these tabs of Googling things now. Holly! What? That's the kind of thing you would say to your boyfriend when you kiss him goodbye. What is the dialogue of this game? And what, Snake? What should I say? Stay alive, and we'll meet again sometime. Deal. All right. Dialogue like that is the kind of thing that I would have expected to see in someone like Snake's Revenge, honestly. Um, <laughs> Alright, get me out of this weird buzzing room. Alright, so that's good progress, right? Because we have card four. This doesn't wash me away, does it? Oh, do I really want to test? Oh, crud. No! No! Oh, 
I got debated by that ration. Well, I'll just circle around, I guess. That's what I'll do. It should loop all the way back around, right? Maybe, hopefully. I hope. Here's hoping. I don't want to go that way. I'd rather go this way. So this will be the faster way, right? Yeah, that's the super speed way. <laughs> so around we go, I guess. Oh. No! Oh, I wanted to go up there! Let's see what that kiddo had to say. Well, we'll never know, I guess. Guess we'll never know. I'm glad that you're not a guard. When I man said we shouldn't go against the current, he said you can see lots of new things if you just go along with the flow. You know what he meant? Yeah, I saw some new things on my way around. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Let's not mess around with the current too much. Alright. Why does my punch stop work? Oh, because I have C4 equipped and that's now the uh, C4 thing we're Bob. That's why my punch stopped working. I got gotcha. you. I get it. Alright, in we go. This doesn't go deeper, does it? Guess not. Alright, take the other elevator now. Or see if this goes up. I still don't have grenades. So that's gonna be around here somewhere. Somewhere around here, there's gonna be grenades. Oh, this goes up a decent bit. This goes up for a little while, huh? How long have I been streaming this game now? It's hard to tell because, you know, I'm looking at the time of the collective stream. Apart from, you know, the first couple hours that got cut out. You know. But we'll be coming up on 12 hours here pretty soon. Will be the case. So. Okay, what's going on around here? That won't see me right. Alright. Card 4. What's happening now? We got card 4 from Holly. By freeing her, I'm exploring around and trying to find where grenades are so I can take on the next boss. My man is like our daddy. He doesn't like grown-ups. I assume by one-eyed man they're referring to Big Boss. Most likely. I knew it was gonna happen. Well. A ration so close yet so far. Well, <laughs> you'll never tell. Uh, but wait, with stream delay, you might have to remind me what this is referring to now. I can go get that ration, I guess. Bam. Yeah, I'll go get the thing, Bob. Yoink. I can't carry anymore. I can't carry any more of the green? That means I can use a green, right? The four is my capacity for that. Okay, cool. <coughs> I'm cool with being at capacity. I need to heal anyway, so that worked out pretty well. That worked out quite swimmingly. Okay, so let's see here. Red card, card four. Nope, wow. That sucks. Maybe I can't do a whole lot here yet. I thought myself was like a guard at first. I had to be on the lookout for. Oh no, I've been through there before. That's just that one platform. Okay. And then... What's that noise? And then this is one of the elevators that you can't use. All out of order and stuff. Alright. Can't use card four. Red card? Really? No! I guess I'm going to have to come back here with some other card later. So what's card 4 even unlock? I wonder. Let's do that before he hears me forcing my way through that. Alright. Well, I guess we can check out the other elevator. Is what we can do. I don't think this goes up any higher, does it? No, it doesn't. We'll go check out the other elevator with card 4 in tow. I guess see if there's a new card there. See if there's grenades there. I assume there will be a card by the grenade guy. Maybe he'll have card five. But yeah, hello, hello, Mythic. Things are going alrighty. We're coming up on 12 hours in and I'm already super sleepy, I guess because, you know, being slightly sick and messing with sleep the past couple days. <coughs> but I'm powering on. I'm powering on. If it gets unbearable, then, you know, I'll... <laughs> I'll call things off and do it another day, but... I plan on committing through to the end currently. That plan hasn't changed. Hate when in games you get a new thing and you're surrounded by stuff you can't use it for? Yeah. 
Yeah. Part four. Oh, I can get into here. I don't know where this brings me. Let's find out. Oh, that's outside. Okay, that's that. I don't need to go out there. Yeah, I definitely don't need to go that way. Well, now I know what that door is, though. All right. Voice is very comforting for some reason. I'm oh, gosh, dang it. I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> Sometimes I get some comments on some of my video essays that are like, I would watch your video, but your voice is so unbearable. So... <laughs> it's ah oh, gosh darn it. So it's nice to hear people saying the opposite sometimes <laughs> Well, that's not card four Well See you later nerds Whatever I'm just gonna go this away This looks like a thing with hidden rations because it's a tiny one, right? Nope Not that time. They're all just chilling down there except for this guy. Oh and that guy too Ah Wow, took no damage in that screen at least. All right, go, 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 gadget. Oh my goodness, this is a log elevator. Get over here. Ah! All right, we're going. I'm tired. It would be like a subathon where we just watch you sleep for six hours as I just like pass out in my chair and I just put on like I'll just put on one of my YouTube playlists on you know autoplay. Um, there used to be a veranda south of here, but the passage is buried now. Wait. I see a, a thing rebob over here on the radar. Wait. So. Okay. Go back to that. I still haven't tried the submachine gun. What happens if those hit me? Not card four. Red card? Nope! Sure not! I'm just gonna avoid them, I guess. <coughs> Man! Well, I didn't have this cough. Wait. I don't see the way through, then. When I was skimming through, I briefly saw Video Dudo here, though. In the general area. So, I'm going to have a look-see at what point they made it here so they go do the thing or bob about rescuing holly and then if i skip through a whole bunch thank goodness for the internet if i didn't have the internet there's no way i'd beat a game like this no chance all right so they go up oh it's not shown on the map but you can see four more walls so like what would you do if you were going into this blind would you just like try putting c4 on like every wall until you found you know, the one that, you know, was the path forward. Whoops. Like, I was able to tell that one because, you know, the map kind of hinted at it. But that one, there's no hint at all. South of here, I found a bunch of things that look like green pineapples. Wow. <laughs> Crazy, man. Um, so wait, now what? Is it another specific spot that I need to put it? I'm just gonna look at the video then, in that a case see where exactly to put it and the answer is right whoops right there apparently all right well let's keep going we bunch of elevators that are out of order uh south of here i found a bunch of things that look like yeah 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 i don't want to waste my precious resources so i'm just gonna look at the video and see where he places it is the thing and apparently where he places it is right around this spot. I don't know how the heck you would know this without the uh, interwebs. Kaboom. I don't know how the heck you'd do it. One-eyed man is like our dad. He doesn't like grown-ups. Yeah, we uh, saw that. Oh, sweet. Some more of these. Plus explosive. Ammo. I'll also switch back to that now. And, well, okay, fine. I'll heal in that case. Cool. <coughs> man. All right, what's over here, huh? Something important, hopefully. Aha, card four works. Grenades! So I can win against that grenade jerk now, right? I have 45, okay, cool. I think I have the power to beat that grenade jerk now. All right, let's go take on boss number four. I guess is what we'll do. Ugh, how long is this game? I mean, the estimate was roughly about six hours, but you know, I don't know if I can play this for six hours. But, you know, 
try my best here. You know, I, <laughs> I'm i honestly kind of impressed with myself for having gotten this far and not rage quitting at the slump, if I'm going to be completely honest. Because <laughs> I was very, very tempted to. Alright, we're going down. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Where our soggy friends, Spongebob, waits for you and me. I'm just curious if this goes down further. Nope. Alright. Let's go kill grenade guy, I guess. Let's go. Oh, are you kidding me? Please don't spawn in me. Right as I say that. Of course, right as I say that, Harmonia commits to playing all, all the Metal Gear games. Also, Harmonia looks like it rather be playing anything else. I really should have started with the solid games. Rather than, you know, starting retro. I should have just generally looked up a plot synopsis of the retro ones. And then, uh, just started with Metal Gear Solid. Apparently, the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 1 kind of summarizes the retro ones anyway. Like, maybe I'll be able to understand this plot a bit better. Like, there's more dialogue and stuff. But, you know, as I was saying earlier this stream anyway. If you ask me to tell you the plot of Metal Gear 1 or Snake's Revenge, I honestly couldn't tell you. Like, I have no idea. <laughs> Honestly. Alright. <laughs> Let's just let the time run out. How about... As much as you like game preservation, I appreciate retro games. You can't really dedicate yourself to playing it. Yeah. Another thing I was mentioning earlier this stream is I don't get how there's content creators out there that, you know, have their whole channel based off of playing retro games. You know? I don't get it. I, that could never be me. <laughs> no way. Is there still, um... Yoink! Sweet! Yeah. Thing is, you could have totally skipped these two. All the important stuff is... I was just saying that. I was just saying how we totally could have skipped, like, the retro ones and, uh, gone right into Metal Gear Solid 1, and I kind of wish that I did. But we're committing now. But yeah. Maybe GN's whole channel is literally just about playing bad retro games? The good retro games are miserable. Imagine the bad ones. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, that could never be me. The extent of bad games that I'm willing to play are things like modern roller coaster tycoon games. <laughs> you know. <coughs> or modern Pokemon to an extent, you could say. Um, although playing them will help you in the long run and you'll understand Metal Gear Solid 1 way more. That'll be great. Let's see here, I'm putting on the grenades. So yeah, there's that reticle that's very similar to the Snake's Revenge one. All right, let's go F up grenade guy. That's what we'll do. All right, it's rematch time. <coughs> there he is. Oh, he just goes right at it. He just immediately goes at it, apparently. Let's chuck grenades up at him. Yeah, what's he gonna do now, huh? He's gonna get hit with a bunch of grenades. That's what's gonna happen to him. Yeah, he's getting screwed now. He's getting messed up. How many grenades do I have to hit him with? My goodness gracious. Oh, he's mixing up his movement a little bit. Alright. You have to throw a lot of grenades into him. There we go. Twelve total, I guess. Well. Get freaking Michael Bade. Wait, does he not even give me anything for defeating him? The heck? Just defeating him means that he's not lobbing grenades at you here anymore or something? So you could become a retro streamer if the current video game market were to undergo an unusual slump in quality? <laughs> I suppose there's that. Oh, that op- Oh, it opens that door. Okay. Which, I mean, seeing the way that some modern games have gone, I wouldn't be too surprised. But, uh, now nah, there's still plenty of, like, you know, games in the last couple decades that I'd still love to play. Up! Ah! You know, still a long queue on that. All right, who's calling me? Let's see here. Doors to the roof is painted shut to prevent trespassers, but it's jury rigged, so you can probably blow it up pretty easily with plastic explosives. See ya. I wish the other places I could use plastic explosives were explicitly told me like that. Would've been cool. I appreciate it this time, but you know, would've been cool if it had been told me other times as well. Cool. All right, I'm switching back to the gun. All right, let's go. Where the heck are we right now? That isn't a guard, is it? Oh, it's a pigeon! No! No! Get over here! 
Bird! You are my bird now. Wait, come on. Do I have to do something to catch the bird? Oh, come on. Come on, bird. Bird. Come on. Come on. Just land and let me catch you. Come on. Please. Please. I don't know if this bird is landing again. Maybe I gotta sneak up by doing this or something like that. Oh, the animal guy, you're right! Hold on! Yeah! How do I, um... How do I check the... like this? Your number one fan, Jacobson! This is Solid Snake, come in. That's a wood pigeon, specially trained to act as a carrier pigeon. Did you know there are over 260 species of pigeon in the world? They are 40 centimeters long and are found from Europe all the way to South Asia. Dr. Marv probably brought that one with him. Pigeons are timid and very sensitive to noise. If you get too close, they'll sense you and fly away. Yet for all that, they're notorious gluttons. They feed mostly on grain. I got an idea. If you have some beans or potatoes, you can use them as bait. I just got a large order of fries myself. All right. Time to find a burger stand out on the battlefield, eh? Go for it now. What? Can I put some of my rations that use those ingredients on the ground? Because I don't actually know how to put rations on the ground. If that's the, uh, that's the case. That's how you rationalize buying more games that you have time to play. Staying well prepared for self-enjoyment if the Nintendo market ever undergoes a Wii U-like downturn. Yeah. We shall, uh... We shall see how things go. Well, I'm gonna see what this dude in the video does. If he's able to put down rations with those ingredients in some way. He equips rations. He just has them equipped. And then walks up to the pigeon. Okay. Because, yeah, I would have thought putting it on the ground. Or something like that. But, yeah. Beans and Franks. Yeah. So, equip this. And then I should just be able to wander up to it? Apparently? Or into the video? So... There we go. Huh. There's a piece of paper tied to the pigeon's leg. Help, Wiz Ohio Keel Marv. Only the H is in lowercase. Some kind of message from Dr. Marv? What could it mean? <coughs> Wait, can I see it again? Only the H is in lowercase. What does that hint at me to do? Hold on, let me see it again. If you land. Gosh dang it, man. Well, I don't think I'm ever seeing it again. I don't think it's happening. Yeah, the, they're on fire this generation except for Pokemon. <laughs> That's like, you know, the black sheep there. Well, I don't know. What does Mr. Dudo in the video do? Oh, they dial 14038. Apparently, is the case. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of really, really nice games on the Switch. Luckily. So let's see here. So that. This is Solid Snake coming. Where's Ohio? Only the H is lowercase. Hmm, I've got it. It's a digital number. You see what I'm getting at, don't you, Snake? Over and out. The, only the H is lowercase. It's a digital number. Wait. So. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 8, then? I don't know, 140, 08? You can't go under 140, can you? Yeah. Oh, is it telling me 140, 08? Solid Snake, come in. Did I guess it right? Nope. Let's see here. What does uh, Mr. Dudo do? Dials 140, 51, apparently, is the case. <coughs> that isn't like ASCII code for it or something. Would it be? This is Solid Snake, come in. Tade Yamav, call mom de lot? Shame you don't mirror. De la me poses, whatever the heck. I, I can't, I can't speak this. What's he saying? Can't understand a word, but ask Madnar. Wait, Madnar? So, how do I see the menu of like the ones that I can, okay. No. No, how do I see the menu of the uh, ones that I have registered? What's the button for it again? Gosh dang it. 
Okay, just pressing that. Um, uh, Madnar. Okay. So let's see. Come in. Moff could only speak Czech and Slovakian. He's also the wary type. And especially so in his current predicament. What about you, Madnar? I can only speak Russian and English. Wait, I've got it! Mustafa can speak to him. Mustafa. Is that the STB woman who is protecting you? She'll be able to understand him, and Mav trusts her as well. Is this Gustava still alive? Not to worry, Gustava is no ordinary woman. She is a seasoned professional. When we were captured, she alone managed to steal an enemy uniform and escape. No doubt she's hiding somewhere inside Zanzibar land, waiting for her chance. Does she have a radio? No, it was taken away right after we were captured. The only thing I know is that she's wearing an enemy uniform. Must be some kind of clue I can use. Here's your clue. She's a woman. Don't be fooled by her enemy disguise. There are no women soldiers in this fortress. That's all you need to know. Gustava is a woman. Why not set up an ambush someplace that only a woman would go? Like the ladies' restroom. What? <laughs> Over and out. What? What am I supposed to do now? Huh? Um, I'm, I'm looking at the video. I'm seeing what Mr. Judo does, because, yeah, I said an ambush somewhere a woman would go. Yeah, that sure narrows it down. What the heck? All right, so Mr. Judo in the video, if I keep on skipping ahead, they go where? All right, they go back across the minefield and back to the main building, so through the jungle. So a long path all the way back. And they, um, let's see here. And they take an elevator up to the third floor. And put on the gas mask, go through the uh, thing we're bought with card four. Oh, and they get a gas grenade on floor three. Um, so they keep exploring around. And then, yeah, there's a room on floor three that I haven't gone into yet. That, uh, yeah, leads to uh, things. There's a new uh, equipment thing we're bought there as well. Of a night vision goggles, apparently. Um, Alright, but... This isn't the main objective. It's just there's other important things to get on floor three. Uh, got some rations on floor three. Oh, they managed to get in to get that mouse thing or bob. I guess I should probably just go to floor three. Is what it's seeming like, which is a long trek away. No. Huh. So yeah, there's a few things that they're going around collecting on floor three. Is the case. But where exactly is the actual objective, though? Because I could go around exploring, but then I want to know where the objective is. Oh, floor four, apparently. I'll go to floor four and do some things there. All right, I'll just, I'll just make my way over there, I guess. 